The Steven Factor has been brought to you part by Holiday Inn, the nature's innkeeper. And by Porabella. Come and get your gray suits this holiday season. <laughs> What's up everyone, this is your stream, this is Steven, aka The Legend, my pronouns are he, him, and his, and welcome to The Steven Factor. Happy Thanksgiving everybody, I hope you guys have been celebrating on this wonderful, outstanding um, um, festivities on this beautiful holiday season, and hope you get some turkey, your mashed potatoes, your sweet yams, and hopefully you definitely get stuffed up like me. On this tonight's show, I want to do a special review of this hotel. It's called Holiday Inn. And let's be honest, Holiday Inn has been there for over 50 years. And let me tell you something. This is not that bad. This is a first time that I went to this hotel since 1997. Well, not actually, I didn't went to... My first Holiday Inn in 1997 in Orlando, Florida. It was uh, the first hotel that I officially can't remember. But let's just say this is a second hotel, but the first time in a Holiday Inn in New Jersey since 1997. And I really don't know how it works, but as a 34-year-old man with autism, I definitely need to learn. And... Um, trying to um, experience it and, and learn some new things to see everything would be approved. So, um, I really don't know what's going on. I really don't know what is really happening. But let's just say I was trying to give you a little bit of story time, alright? Um, two months back, My aunt called me when I was in the bathroom. And it's been revealed that she mentioned me and all the rest of my family are coming to Melanie's and Joseph's wedding. And I was like, wow. That was so completely random. Because I remember originally um, they were supposed to do it around in the summertime, but decided they decided postponed it and all the things due to finance, financial things or, or even some their own reasons, personal reasons. But I think we're just trying to keep it on hold or even somewhere in a COVID related, but you know how it goes. Um, I was shocked and stunned to be honest with you. And um, so um, I definitely wanted to go and I never seen my cousins for a very long time. I'm trying to spend some time with them and be a supportive and that was the most important thing. So also so um I got my suit. I uh before I got my suit I had to order first uh for the book. And then um I trying to call one of my sisters trying to send me that thing and this is the first time I decided trying to order the room. And the price which is not that bad. If you get a single room, it costs almost like 180 something bucks. And then with tax, nearly like $300, like $295 and change. And I already booked in. And also, two months later, um, everything is all checked. Everything is checked in. When I look into this room, Solo, it feels like you're in a studio, and I already show you on my first episode um, on this wedding special. Uh, you see like a king size bed, and you see the lamp behind me, the luxury bathroom, the closet. It's like a you have a, a studio apartment. It is so big and huge. You have a microwave, you have a coffee maker, you have um, a TV. But let me tell you something, everything's for free. You don't have to know pay the electric bills or nothing. No, it's, it's just a hotel. All you got to do is just check in and check out. That is the most important thing. And also, uh, they just update a, a, a unit for me. <clears throat> and let me tell you why. For the past 24 hours, I fell asleep, but my room is so cold. I'm trying to use a thermostat, and it's not working. Then I have to use the unit... It's still cold. It's like a, you're in the air conditioner. 
So what I did is, I went downstairs, talked to the manager very nicely, and it needs to upgrade on my unit. So, um, this young man came working a part time, and, and let me tell you something, that holiday and they doing shit for fast, alright? They knock you on the door, you coming in, if you say you have a living apartment, you let the super in to see what's the issue, and you double check on it, and it's, and it's not working, it's been revealed that it needs to upgrade the unit. So, I wait for him, I tell him, let's do this right now, um, it take like three minutes or so, and he officially got the new unit. He finally fixed it. Now I officially got a warm room, and it is amazing. But what about the breakfast? Let me tell you something. That breakfast is slamming, and 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 here's gonna be some two options. Number one, you need to get a breakfast uh, voucher, so it'll be no cash include. Not it'll be no cash included. That's number one. But number two. Um, you could purchase a breakfast as well, and and that is a no big deal. But let me tell you how much is the price to get that breakfast. If you get a special breakfast, it costs fourteen ninety eight, nearly fifteen bucks, it, which is not that bad. Not that bad, less expensive, and you can pick any breakfast that you want. You, you they, and you can have pancakes. Uh, you can have sausage, eggs, bacon, strawberry sham. All you gotta do is just purchase a breakfast. That that that's all. And it looks 100% pure, fresh, and everything. Um, you can also you gotta pick your orange juice or or the soda, trying to make you full to start your wonderful day. But also make sure you have to be careful with the schedules as well too. For Monday for Friday. The breakfast start from 6.30 through 9.30, so she ha you have to be there until the 9.30 is finished. On the weekends, for Saturday and Sunday, 7 to 10 a.m. Simple. Simple as that. So, um, <clears throat> yes, um, the, the Holiday Inn is great, wonderful service. But also, there's only one thing with excitement I have in mind because when I'm using my personal toothbrush, I just actually left in the bathroom. And when I just came back for the wedding, it went and gone. So I went downstairs, they gave me a spare of the toothbrush, and simple as that. And listen, they treat you, everyone, uh, treat you, the customers right, and they're very respect you too. And that's the most important. And um, that's it. And I should definitely going to miss this place. I know I'm not definitely going to cry a little, but it's just the beginning. And you know, if I have my own place, I had to do the same thing and learning my responsibility. And that's also as well too. Oh, and another thing: if you want to check out, they send you an email so they could do it for in the uh, digitally. If not, you could go downstairs to check out in front of your desk, just do the old-fashioned way. But right now, I, I hopefully I could do it in digitally because it's technology now. I gotta learn, but also it is a wonderful, wonderful experience. So um, what are you waiting for? If you have friends and family starting vacation and even your perfect getaway, but I suggest that. Uh, if you want to start the perfect getaway, I suggest you should do it on the summer and the fall. The winter, well, let's just say the storm is coming. I know El Nino is coming. So I guess that this has become, um, will become as the worst case scenarios of this snowstorm. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm ready for it for the snowstorm. So I suggest if you have plans, you could do it in the summer and the fall, hopefully next year in 2024. So we'll see what happens. Okay, that's wraps it up. I'm on the around the time. If you want to learn more about this channel, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to see my latest videos. And also click the like button as well. This is yours truly, Mr. Steven saying, Dodo pa la familia. And thank you for watching the Steven Factor. One love. Peace.